during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about the reproductive stages in soybeans and how a farmer knows when to harvest those beans. Well, the reproductive stages are R1, R2, all the way up to R8. So there's eight different reproductive stages in soybeans. And honestly, if you ask most farmers, what are the eight reproductive stages of soybeans? They'd say, what, there's eight? I thought there was four. There's flowering and there's potting, <laughs> fill, and maturity. But yes, it's split up into eight because it's beginning, beginning flower and full. full. <laughs> right. So it, it is a little <laughs> bit tricky and I get it. So it, it, is it super important that you know all eight stages? Not necessarily, but one thing that's interesting about it is all the way up through R5.5, so a long ways towards maturity, the beans are still putting on more flowers, and At that's really exciting. At least the indeterminate soybeans we have in the northern U.S. Yeah, it's really exciting for farmers because they think, well, you know, I got a decent crop, and then all of a sudden there are more flowers out there that could turn into pods, so you really can't give up on soybeans too early. There's still more time to make yield in many cases. Okay, so what a farmer is typically looking at in terms of how do you know when these beans are going to be ready to harvest? Here's what I look for on our own farm. When soybeans start to senesce, and what that means is the leaves are starting to die off, and it, there's a process called, and this is a terrible word, but cannibalism. The plant cannibalizes itself. It takes nutrients from those leaves and pulls it into the seed. So when the leaves start turning color, as soon as I see that out in our fields, usually for us, that means three weeks until harvest. Well, that's nice to say, Brandon. It's going to depend on the weather, and so farmers are still yep. going to be out in those fields checking the beans to see if they're ready. Now, there's a couple of things. One thing that farmers will look at is, well, what do the stalks look like? Are they still green? Am I going to be able to cut them easy? Or are they going to wrap up in my combine and be a problem? So yeah. farmers would prefer if those stalks would not be green when they run the combine. Through. But honestly, that has nothing to do as far as when those beans are going to be ready to harvest. What we're looking for there is when you grab the bean pod, if you can bust that pod open real easily with your fingertips, then that tells you, hey, we could actually be out here harvesting. And then we're looking at harvest moisture. So, and harvest moisture means what is the moisture percentage in that soybean? And last week we were talking on the show about how we want farmers to harvest their beans at 13% moisture or more. Most grain elevators want to take the beans at 13%. We don't want them to get drier than that, otherwise the farmer loses money because he has more harvest loss and he doesn't get to haul moisture, in effect, into town and sell that because beans, like most other crops, are sold based on weight. We always talk about bushels, but the way you arrive at bushels is you take the weight divided by 60 pounds per bushel. And farmers, especially further north, are really concerned about frost. They want to make sure the soybeans finish before the frost gets them because they don't want to lose yield at the end. And where they'll see that the beans are safe from a frost is when you split open the pods, there's a little membrane around the outside of the beans that connects them to the side of the pod as that plant is still filling those beans out. Once the beans have released from the side of the pod and that membrane is gone, then you know that you're safe from a frost. And here's one last thing I'll throw out, because every once in a while we do harvest a few green beans, but if you split the soybean open and you see in the middle it's yellow, then almost always by spring the outside will turn yellow as well and that bean will look just fine when a farmer has to haul it to the grain elevator next spring. Well, it's important to know the soybean reproductive stages a little bit. You don't have to know exactly what each one of the eight is, but you understand how soybeans mature. That's going to tell farmers when it's time to harvest and when they can get their yield. Well, another important thing that farmers have to know is how to control weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>